see if anyone here wants to change my mind. I mentioned this in the show meeting today, and everyone sort of yelled at me. And so let me try and make my case here. The New York Giants during this offseason added to their offensive line, which should make that better. They drafted Kadarius Toney, who is a slot receiver who just seems to score touchdowns every time he touches the ball. They, they added Kenny Galladay, who is a wide receiver who can run down, run those long routes and go up and get the 50-50 balls. They added Kyle Rudolph, who still catches touchdowns. They're bringing back Saquon Barkley. They had a very good draft in general with a guy named Aziz Ojolari. But one way or another, Dominique Foxworth, I'm sitting here saying, I believe that Daniel Jones is set up to show everybody that he's a good player. He was the sixth pick in the draft, and I get that everyone criticized the pick, but not right. because they thought he should have been in the sixth round. Right. They've put together a really, potentially really good offense around him, and if he is a good player, I think he is set to have a big year this year. Do you want to change my mind? Um, I don't want to change your mind. I think that the off-season moves that you put up are not really giving me much encouragement because his biggest problem, I think, was turning the ball over. And nothing about that speaks to, to um, protecting him, to allow him to get through his reads and make better decisions, or protecting him so he doesn't fumble as much as he does. Like, those were his big issues. And I do have to applaud the Giants' off-season as far as the draft is concerned. I was surprised at how great their draft was. So I think you're right. If he's going to be an NFL quarterback, this will be the year that he shows it, but I'm not sure he's going to show it. Well, th that is, of course, right. the big question. If not now, then when? Ninkovich, what do you think? It, look, it all sounds great, and if, if he goes out there and he performs well, then they know that, that they, have their, they have their franchise quarterback. If he goes out there this year and doesn't do well, then they're going to have to move on. They're going to have to find somebody else because with doing those off-season acquisitions and the moves that they've made to help their team and Daniel Jones does not do well, then they're going to have to go and find somebody because they've built this roster out. You got Joe Judge coming in, implementing his new strategies and coaching styles. So it's going to be up to Dan Daniel Jones to go out there and perform this season or he won't be in New York. I'm with that. I think he's in a similar place right now to where Baker Mayfield was a year ago. All the questions about him, they were right. all legitimate then. They're legitimate now. There's a good team around him. Second year in a system, which should make a difference. For Baker, it was a first year in the system. Jeff Darlington, what do you think? Well, you know, another guy, Tua Tunga Vailoa. It's kind of he's younger, but it's sort of a similar situation that I think teams aspire to put themselves in when it comes to quarterback evaluations. When you can build a good team around them to say, okay, we set this up for you. Now prove to us that you are our franchise quarterback, like you said, Baker. Some of these other guys around the league. So, so I agree with you. He is set up for success. But I think the bigger statement would be saying Daniel Jones will be a success this season. That much. Like, I'm still not really overly sold that that will be the case. I'm going to bet on it. I'm going to bet that Daniel Jones has a very good season. And when he How does, much? we're going to revisit Now we're talking. The How skepticism. Much? You can't just say, I'm a bet. How about you go? You're going to put your palatial estate on it? <laughs> I'm, I'm betting the palatial it. estate. Dominique, I'm betting put your a palatial estate, estate. But in this case, it's yours. I'm betting your house that Daniel Jones is going to be great. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.